you've got a music track and you need it to fix the length of your video, but the music track is too small or too long. This is how you can remix any music audio clip to match any video length using Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe Audition. Here we go. I've got a video here that I want to add music to. It's about 40 odd minutes, 41 minutes of an interview, which can be a little bit hard because you'll get a, an audio clip maybe from YouTube audio library or wherever you wish for like three to five minutes. And then you don't want to loop it over and over and over again. You don't want to stretch it out so it sounds weird or slow. So what I use is Adobe Audition and I get it to remix it for me. I'm going to download the track. I use Storyblocks. Storyblocks is great for not only video files, but audio files as well. I've got this track here, which is around about eight minutes in length, which is obviously too short for a 40 odd minute interview. I download the audio track. I open Adobe Audition. I go to File, New, Multi-Track Session. You can name this session if you so wish, but I tend to keep it exactly how it is and I click OK. Now you'll see a multi-track session here and you drag in the audio file that you wish to use and put it in the first track bay here. It will analyze the track for you. Pretty much says that it's a eight minute odd track. Now, this is the bit that's important. I now click on music and you'll see here, duration and two options. Either they can stretch it, which will change the pitch, it will slow it down, or I can remix it. So what I do is I put in the length of roughly how long I want this track to be. So 40 odd minutes and I'm choosing remix. It will now analyze this clip, okay? And it will find little places where the track could be cut and remixed and spliced in and merged over. This way it makes a seamless track out of this audio file. Now obviously this is faster if the audio file is smaller. This is an eight minute audio file, so it needs to like analyze it a little bit more. It's now analyze it and applying the remix. In other words, it's finding the bits where it can stitch it together seamlessly. And now it's making it into the 40 odd minute audio file that I'm hoping for. Once again, it's much faster if you're trying to remix a three minute audio file into a seven minute audio file. Now this is where the magic happens. I've zoomed out. See that little zigzag? That is where they stitched it together. So what we're going to do is clip just before it and let's see if you can figure out that it's been remixed. Fairly seamless, right? This has remixed it to 41 minutes and five seconds. Sometimes it's slightly harder to remix it into the length that you want. It might remix a three minute clip and you're aiming for six minutes and again it's six minutes and ten seconds because it needed to extend it or it might undershoot it. You can also click favor shorter segments in which it says instruct audio remix to favor shorter segments for more transitions best enabled for music which changes over time. Now this would be for example inspiring music that builds up to a crescendo or something that starts with poppy and ends with rock. Now I don't have that problem if you was to click favor shorter segments, it would analyze and reapply the remix for you. And now you'll see here, that the segments, it's given itself pretty much the start of the audio file and then it repeats itself a lot, a lot of cuts here, the zigzags accordingly. So that's what I always prefer to favor the longer, that way it doesn't sound as repetitive because it's not trying to just extend it, extend it, extend it by 10 seconds at a time over and over and over and over and over and over again. However, the shorter segments is more likely to hit the very specific time you're hunting for rather than a ballpark figure. Now this has reanalyzed it back and you'll see there's much less cuts. There's one here and there's one here. So what do I do now? I click file and I click export and I want to export into Adobe Premiere Pro. Now you can export into a specific file like an mp3 and in which then you can overlap into whatever you want but I use Adobe Premiere Pro so I click export to Adobe Premiere Pro I'm choosing mix down into stereo okay I'm keeping the sample rate exactly the same so again I don't tend to touch it and then I click export it will generate an export file and it will now talk to Adobe Premiere Pro where it asks, where would I like this new audio track? Now, obviously I've got an audio track in audio track one, so I'm just gonna move it to audio track two. It's gonna dump it there for me and ta-da! Here you go, it's now in my timeline. Welcome to how to make a YouTube your full-time job. 
Now, obviously that's a little loud for the original thing. So I'd go here, click on the track, go to the effect controls, and then I can choose the level that I wish to do it. I'm not going to use keyframes, and I tend to find dropping it down by about minus 15 helps the track above. It depends on how, how loud your original audio file happens to be. Welcome to how to make YouTube your full-time job. I'm very excited today. To so as you can see, that covers it quite well. And then all you have to do is export the video file and you're fine. Now, if you need to understand how royalty-free music works from, say, people like Licked, then I've got an interview here with one of the staff when I went to VidCon in 2020. Or you can find free royalty-free music on this video here.